Yeah, tremendous disconnect. I remember I did CBS Sunday Morning Special, and that was one of the first where I just laid it out of how much money I make, where's the money going, what it looks like for being 125 in the world. And my parents were getting calls, almost apology calls, thinking that I was supporting them and I had millions of dollars in my bank account. And now seeing the show and really understanding that I wasn't flying private. I didn't have the Lamborghini they all thought I did and to be where I was. So I think beyond the lifestyle, the financial aspects, all of it kind of comes together. And, and now obviously in the past year, mental health has been a fad. So these conversations have really been out there. But the fans had no idea. I mean, especially, I mean, the US is tough. It's not the main market for tennis necessarily. And it's always been, this driving force is, you know, we need a Grand Slam champion and all this stuff. But yeah, you look at the US Open, people are excited. It's these two, three weeks, you know, counting qualities. And then after US Open goes, nobody really cares. There's no thought. So for them, they see this as tennis. This is what we play every week, where in actuality is, you know, if you're top 250 in the world, you get it four times a year. If you're not, you don't get it at all. And even at 250, you're only bringing in a certain amount of money, even though we see the headline of, Djokovic or Svatek getting, you know, $4 million doesn't always trickle down the same way. So for me, you know, to build that respect for the player and the journey and people wanting to follow the players, I thought I had to peel back that curtain a little bit more.